Proxima Centauri is the closest star to our Sun. It will get even closer over the next 25,000 years, moving within three light years of us. If we can figure out a way to send people there, should we? And what would they find? We cover scientific discoveries. Subscribe to join us. Proxima Centauri was discovered in 1915. Later observations told us it's a red dwarf star with a mass about an eighth of our sun. Scientists think it may be a part of a triple star system known as Alpha Centauri. Unlike Proxima, the other two components of this group, Alpha Centauri A and B, are sun-like stars. They orbit each other every 80 years. Proxima is more of a loner. It's far away from the pair, 430 times the distance between Neptune and our sun. There are some interesting things happening here. For one, Recent observations tell us Proxima is likely gravitationally bound to the AB pair. If all three stars have been together since their formation, Proxima's gravity may have stirred the protoplanetary disks of A and B. This would have increased the presence of water to the normally dry inner region, possibly enriching rocky planets there. So, have we found any Earth-like planets orbiting the AB pair? Not yet. A discovery was made a decade ago, but was renounced in 2015 when scientists realized it was just a glitch. But there is a confirmed planet circling the smaller Proxima Centauri. And new evidence shows there may be a second planet orbiting the Red Dwarf. There are some issues, though. Proxima Centauri b was found in 2016. Odds put the planet at being rocky, about the size of Earth. It orbits the red dwarf every 11 days and is just 1 20th the distance from us to our sun by comparison. Because of Proxima's cooler temperatures though, the planet sits in the habitable zone where liquid oceans can form. With just one problem, the star itself has frequent flares. Data shows they happen about once per day. And the worst have been measured at 10 times the strength of the 1859 Carrington event, the strongest flare we've recorded from our star. Okay, actually two problems. Because of how close the planet is to its parent star, it's probably tidally locked. Half faces the star constantly, and the other half never gets sunlight. In this scenario, there would be a temperate ring between the two zones. But there's still a problem. Daily flares have likely destroyed the atmosphere's ozone layer, meaning ionizing radiation can reach the ground. Scientists think if there is life, it would have to exist in the oceans, several hundred meters below the surface. That far down, life begins to be protected from ultraviolet light, and it may even be able to adapt to higher UV environments. University of Western Australia analyzed marine animals on Earth and found that some of them have been exposed to more UV rays following the degradation of our ozone layer since the 70s. According to their research, organisms in the southern hemisphere, where UV levels are higher, are now more resistant to radiation compared to life in the north. It's possible this could happen on Proxima b, too. So, what about the new planet? That's Proxima c. A paper from 21 different scientists shared the discovery this week. Old telescope data from Chile was reanalyzed, and a signal of something passing in front of the red dwarf was noticed. It's likely this is a new, second planet in the system, much further out. It orbits the star once every five years. We need more measurements, but it appears to be either a rocky super-Earth or a gassy miniature Neptune. And unlike Proxima b, this isn't habitable. Surface temperatures are negative 200 degrees Celsius. But there's still a reason why this is interesting. A planet this large shouldn't have formed so far away from Proxima. It tells scientists the red dwarf may have been significantly hotter in the past. More research is needed. But one thing is clear, mystery still surrounds the triple star system. Let us know in the comments if you think this deserves a sequel to the sci-fi classic Event Horizon. In that, a spaceship was supposed to go to Alpha Centauri, but instead went somewhere else. Hell. In all seriousness though, thanks for your continued support. If you like this video, hit the notification bell and consider sharing it with a friend. It really helps us out. See you next time.